What's going on, his squad? It's your main man, Hitman, and I am back once again with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. This is for the family heirlooms, all those jewelry, the coins, the arrowheads, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tear cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. Today is Tuesday. March 9th, and as I say each and every video, smash that thumbs up button if you find this video any bit informative or helpful in any type of way. And if you are here, um, just checking out the channel, just checking out the cycles, just checking out me in general, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, join the hit squad, because I post videos each and every day. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell because I do post other videos of other games. I do do live streams and all that other kind of stuff. So make sure you guys join, watch, talk with me, even join and play with me. I'm perfectly fine with it. Um, but let's get to the first thing on the map, which is Madame Nazar's location. And speaking of Madame Nazar, if you guys want to know Madame Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at HitmanMiyagiYT because I do post her new location when she does switch, which soon, I don't know if it's this week or next week, the time changes. So when the time changes, her time changes. So it'll be 2 a.m. versus 1 a.m. But I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I'll let you guys, uh, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I'll let you know any other updates with the channel and Madame Nazar's location when she does change. But let's get to Madame Nazar. If you've been looking at the map, she's right here above the word Blue Water. There's an elimination series right here on the corner to give you guys a little hint to where she is. So if you haven't been to her, this is where she is. I personally, when I do get to her, I'll either run from my moonshine shack, which is where I record my video. I'll run from here to there. Or I'll simply fast travel to Lagrasse, which the fast travel should be around here somewhere. Like right here. And I just run over to her location which is right there it's not too far she's not too far out the way but i wouldn't waste time trying to place your camp over here or anything it's wasted time and money just run to her you might get um a kogi boar or whatever it's called i think it's a kogi boar is it, it there's a boar over here <laughs> that you can get or there's an alligator why not anywho Let's get to our other thing, which is the Caribbean rum. The Caribbean rum today is back in Blackwater, right here at this location inside this tent towards the back on a crate or a barrel. She's right here. Well, the bottle is right here at this location. So go ahead and get that as well. Um, there are a couple other things inside of Blackwater or outside of Blackwater or around Blackwater that I want to tell you guys about. There's a tarot card right about here at this location. This tarot card is on the back of a wagon and it is a Queen of Swords tarot card. So go get that. There is also another tarot card right about here, which is a Eight of Pentacles on the table on the front porch. Of this house right here. And there's also. A random lost jewelry. Right here. Right about here. Um, if I'm not mistaken. That's where like the little grave site is. I'm not 100% sure. But. <laughs> one more thing is. A family heirloom is on this porch. Right here at this location. I don't know if it's here or over here. But. Right here at this location, around this location, there is a boar bristle brush right here, which is a family heirloom. Let's get to the cycles for today. 
Let's go over here to the Moin area. Try to put you guys in frame. The cycles for today, Tuesday, March 9th, are Family Heirloom Cycle 4, All Lost Jury Cycle 4, Coin Cycle 5, Arrowhead Cycle 6, Wildflower Cycle 2, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 4, All Tarot Card Cycle 6, Bird Egg Cycle 6, and Fossil Cycle 5. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there. Just in case you guys can't hear me, can't understand me, the cycles will be down there. A link to a video to the for the current cycle of fossils, which is cycle five, will be down there. And how to spell my Twitter and Instagram name will be down there as well. So I can give you guys a little bit more information, help you out. If you have anything to message me, message me on Instagram or Twitter. I'll find it eventually. Or, matter of fact, just hit me down in the comment section below because that comes directly to my phone. <laughs> but, let's get to the other things, which are uh, the items that we will find across the Lemoyne area of the map. Okay, we're going to start, let's see, we're going to start up a little bit above Madame Nazar's location. Which is right by this Dorito. You see that square? Looks like, I mean, square. You see that triangle? It looks like a Dorito. Right underneath that Dorito, that Dorito chip, there's a clothesline. And like in the middle of that clothesline, you will hit on a random coin. So come over here with your metal detector and that's what you will get. Let's go down a little bit. I'm trying to check out. Checking out other things for you guys. Um, let's go down to our first marker, which is between the M and the A in Marsh, which is a random fossil. This random fossil, I can't tell you which one you would get, but come over here with your metal detector, and that's what we got for you. Let's go over here to our next marker, which is a coin. It's a random coin, just like the first one. I can't tell you guys which one you will get, but come over here at this location with your metal detector and that's what you will get. There's also a family heirloom right here at this location. This family heirloom is a goat hairbrush right inside the L-shaped uh, shack right there at the back on a bench. You will find a goat hairbrush once again which is a family heirloom. Let's go to our next marker, which is right here, right by the N in NWA. And this is a Egret egg, E-G-R-E-T. And it's in a tree, shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow. Let's go down here to our next marker, which is another coin. Come over here underneath this bridge, right here at this location. See that rectangle right there? That's a bridge. Underneath that bridge, you will find a coin. Come over here with your metal detector and that's what you will get. Let's see what else we got for you guys. All right, there's a tarot card inside this house. I think on the second floor, Um, the terrace at the back, I mean the, um. The balcony at the back, there's, on that table, there's a Ten of Cups tarot card. While you're over here in that area. Let's go over here to the cemetery, which inside this crypt is a Benet's Topaz ring. It's inside this crypt. As I said, go through the gate, walk to the back, and you get a prompt to pick it up. B-A-N-A-I-S, Topaz ring. Right here at our next marker is a tarot card. It's a Seven of Swords tarot card. It's right here at this location next to a small broken cart on the table. Let's go over to our next marker, which is a family heirloom. This family heirloom is a ivory hairpin. It's on the table on the other side of this little brick wall. There's a little gate right here. You can enter. It's like more like right here. 
There's a table right there, a little metal table. Grab it off that table, and there you go. Let's go down to our next marker, which is another family heirloom. This family heirloom is on the table in the backyard. There's like backyard furniture, like patio furniture right here. Right there on that table is a cherry wood comb, which is once again a family heirloom. Let's go down to our next marker, which is right here. There's is underneath under the ground. This is a I want to call it a family heirloom. It is a antique alcohol bottle, which is a Tennessee whiskey bottle. How you get this bottle is you go through the big gate right here. Right here. Go through the big gate. When you go up, there's a little platform. You hop on that platform. And right about here, there's an entrance into the building. But it looks like it's into the building, but it, it leads underground and around to this bottle. When you do get underground and you follow that path, look. It's basically right in front of you. But there's a large crate right in front of you against the wall a little bit on the right side. And grab the Tennessee whiskey bottle right off of it. And there you go. Go backwards. Go back the way that you went to get out. And there you go. On to the next marker. Right here at this location is the cardinal flower that I tell you guys about each and every day that spawns in this area that helps me indicate what cycle the flowers are on. Grab that as well. Did I say that was a cardinal flower? Because that's what it is. Let's go up to our next marker, really. There's a couple cards in roads if you guys want to get it. There's a card here. I did not do research on this card. And there's another card on top of the bank right here in this corner. You have to go to, there's a ladder in the back. Go up that ladder and get to this, this card that's right here. Uh, other than that, I don't really see much inside of Rhodes except this uh, random lost jury. It's by a big, very large rock right here at this location. So if you do have your metal detector, come right here and that's what you will get. A random lost jury. Let's go up here to this location. Inside this house right here, you will find... A nine of cups tarot card inside the house on a green cap on the green cabinet in the corner. Go get that. What one more thing I have for you over here in this area? I do have one mark, one more marker up a little bit, but right here inside this house, you will find a New Guinea rosewood airbrush, which is a family heirloom, and that family heirloom is in a chest in the bedroom. So go get that as well. I have one more marker for you guys, which is right here. This marker is a random arrowhead. This random arrowhead is next to a large tree stump right here. So go get that too. Remember to pause the video or do whatever. Come back, play the video over if you need to, to find every each and every thing that I tried to tell you guys about. But the cycles... Hold on, let's get you guys back in frame. The cycles for today, once again, are Family Heirloom Cycle 4, All Azuri Cycle 4, Coin Cycle 5, Arrowhead Cycle 6, Wildflower Cycle 2, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 4, All Tear Cards Cycle 6, Bird Egg Cycle 6, and Fossil Cycle 5. Once again, Family Heirloom Cycle 4. All Lost Jury Cycle 4, Coin Cycle 5, Arrowhead Cycle 6, Wildflower Cycle 2, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 4, All Terror Card Cycle 6, Bird Egg Cycle 6, and Fossils Cycle 5. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there. The Cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of Fossils, and how to spell the name for the Instagram and Twitter. So, go ahead and check that out. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I do put out. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out.